Hello, my name is Ian Ryan and I am an AWS Cloud Architect. Today, we're going to look at allowing a generative AI to place outbound calls to a real person to perform a task that we give it. So initially, we have a bot that we have created and this is so that we can accept a task. In this case, we're going to say that we want to book a doctor's appointment. So the AI for this bot is now gathering the minimal amount of information it needs to actually perform this task. And when it has enough, it tells us that it's going to go off and make that appointment for us. So what is actually happening here in the background? As soon as we submitted this task, it got stored into a DynamoDB table, and then that triggered a stream, which triggered another Lambda, which went back in and placed an outbound call from Amazon Connect. The flow that it triggered is this one that we can see on the screen here. And what this flow is doing is allowing the generative AI to actually go along and talk to the receptionist that it has just phoned. So the flow itself is quite simple and typical of these ones that we built. We set the logging, we set the voice, we check our state of the variables for our loop, and then we get some customer input. So immediately as we have placed this outbound call, we want to get a response from the person that we have called. As soon as they say something to us, we feed it back through to the AI. And then the AI interprets this and gives us the response that we should say back to the receptionist. We then loop around here. When the AI is happy that the conversation is complete and that the task it has been given is complete, will actually exit out of this, it will save the result back into Dynamo, and then it will hang up the call. So this is what has been happening in the background while we have been talking now. So let's go back and see how our bot is doing. It is still waiting. So something is still happening in the background at the moment. Oh, and it has just come back. So it says has successfully booked an appointment with Dr. Haru for Wednesday at 11, uh, but we asked it for a Tuesday, so we should probably see what actually happened. So let's go ahead and look at the actual call that has been placed. So here in the contact search, we can see our chat. And our chat was us setting up the task with the bot initially. So here in the transcript, we can see what we had requested and the result from that. But we also have a voice call here. And if we have a look at this, we can see that this was initiated via an API call. It was an outbound call and it lasted just over a minute and a half. And so this is the call that was made by the AI to talk to the receptionist. So let me download that call now and we can actually have a listen to see what happened. Wellington Doctor's Reception, how can I help? Hello, I'm looking to book an appointment with the doctor for Tuesday afternoon. Is there any availability then? Are you a current patient here? Yes, I am a patient there. My name is Ian Christopher Ryan. Could you please check the availability for Tuesday afternoon? Okay, one moment, please. Of course. Take your time. Hello, are you there? Yes, I'm still here. We don't have anything on Tuesday, but can I fit you in on 11 the next day? Ah, that's unfortunate about Tuesday, but Wednesday at 11 should work. Could you please book that for me? Mm, hang on a sec. Okay, um, I'll book you in with Dr. O'Hara at 11 on Tuesday. I appreciate that. But I believe there might be a misunderstanding. You mentioned Tuesday was not available and offered Wednesday at 11. Could you please confirm if it's for Wednesday with Dr. O'Hara? Oh, wait. Um, 
Oh, yes, I meant Wednesday at 11. Great. Thank you for confirming that. I'll see Dr. O'Hara on Wednesday at 11 then. Have a good day. Bye. So there we have it. Now we can hear what actually happened on that call, which the AI placed to the receptionist. And so that's it for this demo. So what we've shown here is that we can actually get Amazon Connect to programmatically place outbound calls and then allow generative AI to actually interact with the other person on the end of that call. Remember to subscribe to my channel and read my blog posts for more interesting AWS posts.